A diamond is forever. The quote from De Beers Diamond Company that changed the value of a diamond forever in 1947. Shortly after this campaign ad, the diamond gained much popularity. Diamonds in love are supposed to last forever. Diamond jewelry has only been available for about the last 150 years because it is the hardest natural substance in the world. Naturally, humans are curious about it. In society, it's been portrayed as a symbol of love. Now the love has been stained with blood. What happened? A blood diamond, also referred to as a conflict diamond, is a diamond that is mined in an area of rebel wars. The money that is earned by selling these diamonds is the fuel that causes lingering, vile wars. The majority of blood diamonds come from Sierra Leone, other places include Angola, Congo, Liberia, and the Ivory Coast. Do you know what blood diamonds are? Vaguely. I, I know that it has to do with all the fighting that goes on over the diamonds and there's, I know a lot of diamonds come from Africa mm -hmm. and smaller third world countries where there's a lot of strife anyway. But otherwise I don't really know much about it. So what do you know about blood diamonds? Nothing. Do you know what blood diamonds are? Um, I know that that's um, a term used for the diamonds that are mined in Africa. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sage Hanuki. What's your name? Jordan Rowe. Um, I was wondering what you know about blood diamonds. Um, they're mined in the African rivers, and they're usually mined through slavery. Yeah, well, thank you. Thanks. basically started blood diamond trade were the rebels of Sierra Leone starting a revolution in the early 90s. They began to realize once they started the revolution that they didn't have any funds for weaponry, tanks, and etc. They began to terrorize villages for diamonds. Diamonds meant profit. Once they came into the villages, they would take the children and start armies, cut off arms and legs of those who said they didn't have diamonds, they took young men and made them into slaves, mining for the diamonds, and then they raped women, sometimes mutilating their genitalia. When they took children, they would drug them and make them addicted to coke and alcohol. They'd also brainwash them with war movies to make them better soldiers. In 1998, the Kimberley certification process, otherwise known as the Kimberley process, they began to look for a way to prevent conflict diamonds. In 2003, they were able to set up their certification process. Now over 70 countries are partners with the Kimberley process. They've cut down the blood diamond trade from 15% to 1%. Even though it is illegal in the U.S. to buy blood diamonds, we buy 40% of the trade. Once the diamonds are cut and polished, sometimes they aren't able to tra trace their roots. The Kimberley process, even though it's great, can't reverse the damage that has been done to the people in these conflict areas. Hi, so I'm Sage Finucchi, and could you say your and name? And I'm Karen McClett, and we're doing a project on blood diamonds, and I was wondering if you know where your diamonds came from. My husband? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where your husband got your diamonds? Um, at a jewelry store. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Sage Finucchi, and what's your name? Mike Martin. And today we were wondering since obviously you own diamonds because you're a jeweler, correct? Correct. Um, we were wondering where you get your diamonds, if you know where they come from. They come directly from the companies I order them from. And where do your companies, are they certified or? They're, they do not carry blood diamonds. They... 
So, what is your name? My name's Ember. Okay, my name is Sydney Fishman, and I was wondering if you knew where you got... Do you have any diamonds? I do have a few diamonds, yes. Do you know where you got those diamonds? Well, uh, I have a yellow diamond um, that was purchased by my husband for my engagement ring. Um, he actually found that through a jeweler online. Well, that, like there, there's a number of gemstones mined in different villages in different parts of the world where the natives are being grossly taken advantage of. They go out and they slave, provide the slave labor, work in the mines, they're really dangerous, and the villagers get nothing out of them. Hello, my name is Sydney Fishman. What are your guys' names? Stevie. And Gary. <laughs> so, do you guys own any diamonds? Yes. Do you know where you got your diamonds? From my mom. Do you know anything else about the diamonds? They're sparkly and pretty. Um, I was wondering if you own any diamonds. Yes. And do you know where you got those diamonds? In Fullerton, California, at Robin's Brothers. Thank you. So, could you say your name for us, please? Mirror Holmes. So, we're doing a project on blood diamonds, and I was wondering if you, if you own any diamonds. I've, I've got, yeah, I've got some diamond stud earrings that I'm not wearing and a diamond wedding ring, and then just a couple of little ones and another ring. So that's all together, like four diamonds or something. Do you know where your diamonds came from? No, just uh, the jewelry store is where we bought them. Hello, my name is Sydney Fishman, and what's your name? I'm Kathy Hamilton. So, do you own any diamonds? I have a small little diamond ring that I inherited from my mother. Uh, do you know where you got that diamond from? It's a very old diamond. She got it when she was, it might have come in the 20s, she was from England, it was just a little diamond and that's all I know. Thank you. And I don't really care for diamonds. So. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, you've got to be careful, like if you order stuff on the internet, yeah. you're liable to get anything, you know, but yes. if yeah. people are going to be ordering yeah. diamonds, yes. gemstones, you should make sure that the companies they're dealing with are certified and legit and not just selling selling slavery basically is what they're doing yeah well thank you well you're welcome thanks for coming by for instance young men who are taken as slaves are still mining today in these diamond mines they work for low pay in the hot sun in a mucky water for hours on end. People who are mutilated and had limbs severed still have to deal with that every day. As well as the children who were brainwashed as soldiers. Even though there are no conflicts currently, one can easily work out and be funded by diamonds. People have to deal with the pain and loss. No one can help or reverse that now. Basically, when searching for diamond jewelry, you want to ask where they get their diamonds. Some bigger jewelers, like Tiffany's, Ben Bridges Jewelry, and Zales are mainstream jewelers who do not buy conflict diamonds. Many people think that buying Canadian diamonds are better. Yes, people aren't being killed over them, but these mines are often killing wildlife and destroying habitats. The two best ways to buy diamonds are through Green Carrot, who uses all recycled gems in their jewelry, or to buy vintage. That is before the 90s, diamond jewelry. Their tears are filling up their glasses. No expression, no expression. Hide my head, I want to drown my sorrow. No tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying